so finally, guys, win or lose, you know, this season is going to go down as a just monumental breakthrough season for TCU. Um, how much do you think this season helps a recruiting um, and you know, I would think that it would help future classes, you know, more than the one they just signed. But, um, and what does it mean for Sonny Dykes going forward? Well, it's it's interesting. I, when you asked me this question, I, I kind of looked at what their commit list was for 2023. And, I mean, Sonny has a pretty uh, set strategy in recruiting. Like, he's going to go after Metroplex kids, and especially the state of Texas, like 19 of the 23 kids they signed in the early signing period are from the state of Texas. A lot of those young men reside in, in Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, they've got a couple transfers out of the portal. Jojo Earl from Alabama, who originally is from Alito, Tommy Brockermeyer from Alabama, who's originally from Fort Worth. And so they kind of have a strategy of like, well, if, if uh, you went to a school, another school and it didn't work out, then you can just come back home and, and play for us. Um, so I think it'll be really significant as far as recruiting goes. I feel like the struggle is, you know, the other the other side of the portal is if you have a bad season, like I think about what's going on in Oklahoma State right now. You know, a couple of, you know, a couple of years ago they're in the Big 12 championship game. Obviously they lose to Baylor, but they're a play away from from winning that game. And then they have one sort of down year. There's some injuries. And now it's like every offensive skill player for that team is suddenly looking to go somewhere else. So I just think sustaining it is going to be the tough thing to do uh, because if you have a down year or two, then all of a sudden people kind of scatter and, and go elsewhere. And, I mean, Sonny Dykes, like, I I did not have him pegged as one of the best coaches in the country going into the season, but there's not a lot of guys who have made it to a national title game. So, I mean, I think you have to – start to consider it um obviously we'll see over the next few years what uh what kind of unfolds but he was an analyst at tcu in 2017 after he got uh fired by cal and he spent a year there and i think like i just feel like he had a very clear vision for what he wanted to do with this job and once he got here he just sort of hit the ground running um and so i think he has a good handle on what he wants to do moving forward but i've been obviously surprised at just how quickly he's turned this thing around. Johnny? Yeah, well, I'm going to say if, if they beat Georgia, I think they should go ahead and, and erect the Sonny Dykes statue. <laughs> side by side. It'll be like Monument Park in New York. Yeah, yeah, there. that'd be a good start. <laughs> uh, maybe one for Duggan, too. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, you know, it's just really hard to tell in this era – uh, especially for a school like TCU, a non-traditional power. Uh, obviously, it would help recruiting, but so much depends on the transfer portal now, NIL deals. So uh, like Steven said, it's, it's a little bit hard to tell just how much of an impact it will have, but, but obviously it's going to have some impact. And uh, I think, you know, like Baylor, other private schools, smaller schools, uh, the key is just getting the right guys. It's not necessarily the four or five star guys. Mm -hmm. It's the guys who fit in your system, good team guys, uh, you know, guys who are going to take coaching really well. Uh, I think it's probably going to be that kind of thing for TCU. Yeah, you know, the transfer portal has obviously um, transformed um, college football. I mean, you know, I've I've called it full on free agency, you know, before. Mm -hmm. And I think that's accurate. I think it's becoming even more and more of a thing. Uh, I was talking with a central Texas high school coach just this week and asking him about some of his guys and where they get in looks. And, and uh, he was like, you know, a lot of it, a lot of these guys are, uh, we're having to wait on the portal, you know, uh, what's happening yeah. with guys that are already in college. And then these coaches, you know, may come in late on, on some guys that, uh, you know, aren't just the four and five star guys. Um, as far as, you know, Sonny goes, uh, I think, you know, uh, Stephen, has he already gotten an extension? Yeah, I don't, I mean, you know, you know how the details are with private schools, but they, <laughs> yeah. they added a couple of years and 
they didn't say exactly how much money is involved, but he's one of the highest paid guys in, in the league now. Yeah. So obviously that's deserved. Anytime you have a season like this, you know, Baylor obviously took care of Dave Aranda uh, the year before, but you know, to y'all's point, uh, I do feel like as unbelievably tough as it is to get to a national championship game, I think sustaining this would be, you know, equally as hard. Um, so much, and you know, this is sports. This is not taking anything away from TCU. You do have to have some lucky bounces. You have to have some things kind of fall into place and go your way. And as Steven said, um, you know, the jury was out on Sonny Dykes kind of coming into this year, and 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 they just they created their own luck but they, they just made plays and they won games and, you know, they pull off a fire drill of a field goal that, uh, <laughs> you know, against Baylor to win it. And I mean, you know, just stuff like that. Uh, can you do that year after year after year? That's tough. You know, we, we saw what happened to Baylor after a big 12 championship and a sugar bowl win, they drop back and have sort of a mediocre season this year. So uh, it is hard to sustain that said, John, just as the Big 12 Championship probably aided Baylor's recruiting this year, I feel like making a run in the CFP like they have definitely going to help TCU getting some doors and some living rooms maybe they, they weren't getting in before. For sure, yeah.